I've had the Allway 560 watt hour portable power station for about a year now. And for the past four months, I've been living in my van in Lake Tahoe over the winter. From charging my gear to powering daily essentials, it's been through a lot. So today, I'm giving you the long-term review because I've had it for about a year now. We're gonna be talking about what's good, what's bad, and would I buy this again in 2025? So, if you're looking for a power station that is budget-friendly and will get the job done, stick around. Now, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, this is Camping with Shane. I was living in my van for the past four months out in Lake Tahoe over the winter, and it was absolutely epic. And uh, yeah. let's uh, get into the video. So I first bought this power station like a year ago, like I said, because that was when I first started getting into van life. I've always been a camper. You know, I've always camped in my vans and my cars. I used to have a minivan and a Ford Focus. Did a lot of camping in those, but I never had power station I'd always just charge off the car I had a little inverter that I would plug into the cigarette lighter to you know charge bigger items but I never had something like this that I could just charge up and have power on demand so I did a lot of searching around and I'm always on a budget you know I didn't want to spend too much money and that's what caught my eye with this power station I only got it for two hundred dollars and it has 560 watt hours of power it's got a 500 watt inverter, um, AC inverter, and it's got a 100 watt uh, USB-C plug, fast charging. You can charge it through the 100 watt too. Then it's got two USBs, and it's got a 12 volt cigarette lighter and some more uh, plug-in spots for that. Now a lot of the other power stations around this level of power, you know, the 500 watt hour range, they're usually a lot more expensive. So. I was really curious to see if this one would actually work just as good as the name brands that are probably double as expensive, maybe even more in some cases. So I didn't expect much going into it. I just wanted to start out with something basic, something cheap. And uh, so far, it's been working absolutely amazing. So when I was living in my van, this was the powerhouse of the van. I also had a 100 amp hour battery hooked up to a 40 amp DC to DC charger that I ran my diesel heater off of and I didn't plan on using it to charge this I planned on just using it for the diesel heater but then I ended up adding a 12 volt plug because you can charge this on the wall you can charge it um, on your cigarette plug and then you can also charge it through solar I do have a 100 amp hour solar panel that I use sometimes but not all the time because once I installed the 12 volt plug into the 100 amp hour battery, I was able to just charge this off of that battery. And uh, one thing about charging with this unit is it doesn't charge super fast. When I first got it, I thought it was like, I thought it charged faster. It charged at 100 watts off the AC and about 80 off the cigarette plug. So the slower charging really didn't affect me too much because during the day, before I had the 12 volt plug plugged in, uh, when I went into work, I would just let this charge in the locker room all day. So then when I got off work, it was fully charged, ready for the night. And I usually would kill the whole thing. I could go through the whole battery in one day. Now, some of the main things I used this battery for was, the big one was to run my TV and Xbox slash PlayStation so I could play video games. And the PlayStation and the TV combined only pull about 100 watts. So I could play and sometimes less, you know, depending on how much the PlayStation is working. So I could use this for about five hours, sometimes six hours straight without having to charge it while playing my video games. And then simultaneously, you know, I also use this for just charging my laptop, charging my phone, charging my portable power banks, just uh, whatever I needed power for. And actually, I would also use um, a electric key, uh, electric uh, water heater, like a water pot, and it was a 400 watt um, unit. Actually, I have it right here. This is a four. It takes 400 watts to boil water, so I would use this a lot. And it would use quite a bit of power, but it worked perfectly fine. It would take about five to 10% of battery power to heat up some water, to like heat up a full 
thing of water, which really isn't that bad. I would use it to, I use the hot water to clean dishes. I got, I got it originally to like make coffee and stuff, but it's a plastic kettle and that's just not good to drink water out of. So I just used it for like hot water just to clean stuff and whatever I needed. I didn't really use it too much, but I could if I needed to. And then another thing that I like about this unit is it has an onboard light. So it has like three levels. It gets pretty bright. So sometimes, you know, if, if, if like my, my lights went out, because I didn't have wired lights, I just had uh, a light that I could recharge. And I had a, like a string lights that I would use off portable power banks. So they weren't hardwired, so sometimes they would go out and I would need to put them on the charger. And I could always use this as a backup light, so that was pretty nice. But yeah, it's been, it's been great this past year. I really haven't had any problems with it. The one con that I would say is the charging. It does charge pretty slow. But when I was in my van, I typically, when I was playing video games or I use a lot of power, I'll just keep it on the charger while I'm using it because it can do pass through charging. So I would be able to put in about 80 watts. And if I was using like less than 80 watts, it would just be charging. It wouldn't be, you know, dropping. It would be slowly charging up. And if I was using more than 80 watts, say when I'm playing video games, it really would only use 20 watts. So it would barely draw. So plugging in, having that 100 amp hour battery in the car um, was pretty nice to have because I did have a fuse box hooked up to it, but I, like I said, I only ran the diesel heater off of it. And then I ended up putting a 12 volt plug so I can charge this because the diesel heater really does not use that much power. And I had a 40 amp hour DC to DC charger, so I was able to charge that 100 amp hour battery very quick. So this being, so that kind of compensated for this being a slower charging box because I could just keep it charging all day pretty much. So let's talk about the battery itself now. So what's powering this unit is a 21.6 I think. Yeah 21.6 volt 26 amp hour battery inside and I really haven't noticed a massive like power drop off. Um, what I mean by that is like you know the usable capacity it's pretty much still I would say up to I haven't done like a true test but Whenever I plug in my, when it's 100% and I plug in my power, my uh, PlayStation and TV, it pulls about uh, 80 to 100 watts. And on the screen, it will tell you how long something will can run for. So let me give you an example. So it will tell you, the screen tells you how much watts you're pulling and then how long you can pull those watts. So when I'm pulling about 100 watts, I could use it for like five, six hours. So that tells me it still has the full capacity. That's just what I, that's just my guess though, but I haven't noticed it being like dying super fast on me. So let's get into the problems. There's really, I haven't had any problems with this unit. Like I'm being serious, it's been nothing but awesome. Um, it's pretty lightweight, super easy to move around. It's got this nice handle that pops down and goes nice and flat. I would honestly use this for a footrest too. When um, when I was sitting on my couch, I would just prop my feet up on this and it kind of was like a little footrest. So it's nice and durable. It's uh, super clean still. It looks brand new. And yeah, sometimes I do notice when I'm using a lot of power, the fan will kick on. And it's not super loud, but... It's a little bit noticeable, but it's nothing. It's like, oh my gosh, the fan's on. It's, it's not bad at all. So would I buy this model again? Well, I would if I could. I don't think that this particular model is being sold on Amazon. It's, you know, it's a Chinese brand. They kind of pop in and out with new models all the time. And I picked this one up for like 200 bucks. But uh, I'm going to throw some similar models down in the description below because I trust the brand all way. They make a ton of different models. They make bigger power stations. They make smaller ones. So check out that. I, it's a good brand. Trustworthy. It's been nothing but great. And uh, yeah, I'll totally buy it again. So let's just look on Amazon. I'll, I'll pop one up on screen. Let's see if I can even, I'll see if I can find this one. But I'll pop a similar one up on screen. Well, you guys are in luck. It looks like 
they pretty much got the same model but an updated version so this is actually looking pretty it's only has 512 watt hours of power but it's really not too big of a difference it says it has 2.5 hours fast charging so it's going to be charging a little bit faster and it looks like it has three um, uh, 120 volt plugs and a little bit just more upgraded it is fifty dollars more it's on sale for 250 it says it's originally five hundred dollars so I would hop on that deal right now if you're looking to get a power station because it's half off. It looks like the prices have gone up quite a bit. But it looks like everything's on sale for all way right now. And yeah, so I would definitely pick that up if you're looking to get a budget friendly power station. 250 bucks, it's you really can't beat it. And uh, for the quality, it's, I would say this might even be better quality than some of the Blue Eddy products. Uh, I was looking at those two when I was first looking to buy something and my friend actually had one and I, I took this over to his house into like a side-by-side -side comparison this one was way better like I'm not even, he had that one for a couple years though so it was a couple years old but still this was way better and I've seen some reviews on the Blue Eddy and like the other ones and it's all pretty much the same exact thing they all come from China this is just more of a Chinese brand so it's a lot cheaper a lot more power for your for what you're spending you know, you get for power per dollar, you get a lot more out of this one. And you know, you can buy it on Amazon. So if yours comes and it just doesn't work, or it's faulty, you know, you just return it and get another one. But I haven't had a single problem with this so far. I've just been super stoked on it. All right, so I do want to take a minute to talk about this solar panel too, because I bought this at the same time that I bought the power station. Because at the time, I had a Toyota Sienna minivan. I didn't have the Ram ProMaster that I have right now. So this was, I just got this to start my van life journey to kind of, you know, get some power, have my off-grid power, because this is full off-grid power. When I'm camping in the desert, I would use this a lot. And when I was, you know, just during the day, I'm not using the power station too much, so I'll just be charging it. And then it would be nice and charged by the time night comes around. Yeah, this this solar panel is only like $60 when I got it. It is the Panana 100 watt foldable solar panel. And it was a super good deal. It works great. It pulls about 80 watts of power, which is not bad. So that is a great pairing. I'll, I'll uh, link up a similar solar panel. I don't know if that exact model is still up for sale, but I'll link a similar one in the description. So if you're looking to get you know some off-grid power and not looking to spend too much money, this is the perfect station for you. Perfect power station. Now, who would I recommend to buy this power station though? If you're if you're just a weekend warrior, you're looking to have some power, um, this is the perfect station for you. If you're a full-time van lifer, this honestly would be a good station too if you don't use a ton of power like me. I was able just to run my PlayStation, my Xbox, charging up stuff. But if you're looking to run like, you know, lights all the time, like fans, you know, diesel heater, fridge, th this is not the one for you. This could be a good backup power supply. This is a this is a great power supply for anyone just to have as a backup or just to carry. Cause it's super portable. Like you can when I'm chilling at home, I always have this just around me because I can just charge everything off it. I don't have to you know go plug my phone in near the outlet or like you know I can have my laptop charging, I can have my phone charging, I can have my PlayStation controller charging, I can run the PlayStation and everything off of it. So it is a super. I would say it's really good just to have for one and if you're just trying to start to get into van life and you're just looking for have a little bit of power this is it for you especially if you're not running a TV or a PlayStation or anything high wattage recently I was in Arizona with my dad camping in his RV and I brought this along just so I could charge up my laptop my drone my phone just miscellaneous things you know so I just could charge wherever I didn't have to worry about plugging in anywhere and I only used about 50% of the battery in four days, so it's it's perfect if you're just looking to run some lower wattage equipment and just keep your phone charged, keep your laptop charged. You can run fans off this too. They only tr uh, take about 20 watts or so. I was running like just a, like a regular house fan off of this in my room because I didn't want to wanted to put it in a certain spot that didn't have an outlet. So then I just used this. It was perfect. So yeah. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. Um, 
pretty stoked on this power station. It is there's a huge deal going down on it right now, so I'll definitely jump on that if you're looking to get one. But uh, yeah, we're gonna wrap things up. If you guys got any questions down below, if I missed anything, you know, let me know. Let me know some questions. I'll make sure to get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, yeah, I think this is gonna wrap it up. All way 560 watt hour power station review. It is a pass. I love this thing and I'm probably going to be using it for a long time or maybe what I was thinking of doing you know if you're still watching the video I was thinking of doing a giveaway with this power station and this um, solar panel as a package you know giving it out to someone who's looking to start on their van life and I was probably thinking of doing that for like a thousand subscriber giveaway because we're not super close but I would like to hit that thousand mark so if I do, I would, you know, like to give back to the community and, uh, yeah, give it out to one of the subscribers. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next video.